just um, just some, some great a great viewing experience really. Was that like just 10, 15 minutes? Uh, maybe just 10 minutes. All right, it seems like we're actually in, and I get to go first, and so that's great. And I have an old growth troll, so that is all I really need. I'm just gonna keep the uh, that tab open with the judge. That's a mammoth. Play this. Let's see if there's a frostbite. There's no frostbite. Okay. It's good to know. No field of ruin. There's three field of ruin to my opponent's deck here, and that is epiphany because it can't be anything else. Um, so I think I'm just jamming old growth here. Maybe not. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Because there was no frostbite, right? So that makes probably mammoth better than old growth. I don't want to play out my faces haven because my opponent could be missing blue mana, so I don't want to enable that. In terms of uh, interaction, is there otherwise? There's one burning hands, so doesn't matter. Dragon's fire kind of matters because there might not be a dragon. So I think I should still just overworld troll. Okay, there's blue mana. Did it pass immediately? I don't think it did, right? So what do we play here? Mammoth or activate Ranger class, play a second Ranger class. I think I put my counter on the wolf token, if I put a counter on something. I could put it on troll actually, so it could get it out of, uh, burn down the house. But that's not relevant, there's only one copy of that. So I think I definitely play Haven here. Because the field of rune is not up now anyway, and it could be relevant next time. Um, and there's already blue mana showing. I have a feeling that Ranger class is going to be the better option here. So I think I'm going to activate Ranger Class. If my opponent wants to kill the troll, I get to follow up with Mammoth. This is all happening very quickly, right? I think I'll put the counter here. Oh, um... Fastbite is also not available. Okay, so this Dragon's Fire, but can I kill the troll? Neat. So next time we can just go Mammoth and activate Ranger Class again. I can play my second Haven. Yeah, I might as well do that. Um, how much damage is that? Attack for 7, put it to 7. So not quite good enough. So here I don't think I want to put the counter here because of Prism America Command. I want to put it on a troll. Because there's no um, bounce spell here, right? Yeah, no bounce spells in this deck. It might be better to keep up the troll just because of the one burn down the house. Um, yeah, I think I'll just start by attacking. And then see how it goes. Uh, if I activate this and put two counters on the troll, that's better than I guess burn down the house, right? That's actually true. Because again, there is no bounce spell. Well, now I think I'll just do it like this, and yeah. Now, if there's a burn down the house, I have default. Because I can make troll end of turn and animate the face of Taven.
They're gonna whoosh the board. Yep. Good thing I was prepared for that. Let me just remake the troll. Animate faces even. Kill you. It's always so nice when you get to kill someone right after the castle sweeper. Like that feels great all the time. Alright. So I was saying the random seven might be okay in this matchup. Because also like making a 5-5 is not easy for them to get rid of it. They don't have like any bounce balls. So and it's gonna be a 5-5, five five, right? So gold span coming down, attacking, casting dragon's fire, it's only four damage. It's not good enough to kill the 5-5. Five five. So I think Renan's seven is pretty good. I don't think our natural growth is that good. Let's see what's in the sideboard. Three more burning hands. Yeah, so it's gonna be just like infinite removal spells. There's also Inferno of the Star Mount, that's pretty cute, that's probably not going in. Melvin and Hermit might come in. There's two Fade Revolve in the sideboard, okay. Those are coming in too. I don't think you can Boarding Crush the Weak in this matchup. So, we're just gonna bring in two Fading Hope and three Burning Hands. Maybe the, the Hermit too, but probably not. Taking out... Negate, maybe? I think the Gate. You can maybe shave on Prismatic Command? I'm not sure. I think you keep both Disdainful Strokes. Um, not really sure. I want all my Tangle Traps, and that's the removal I want. And I want Snakeskin Veil. And... I want Renan 7. Is there any more burn down the house? No, there's only one in the entire 75. So yeah, Renan 7 is pretty good. It is just weak to the two Fading Hopes and one burn down the house. So that's that's all good. And it's not really weak to Fading Hope. It's only weak to Fading Hope plus Gold Span. Though my opponent is on the play now. So that doesn't actually line up exactly how I want it to. But it's probably still fine. Like, it's way better when you're on the play. Because you get to play Renan 7 before they play Gold Span. Uh, I can also bring in Bribridge Tracker. Uh, I'm gonna do this, at least. Because I'm gonna redraw. Oh, wait, I also need to call the inscription. So we do it like this. Keep the Renan 7. This might not be enough removal, but. The issue is that, like, all the fight spells are just, like, such a liability because there's a lot of cheap removal. So I can't really rely on them as answers to stop, like, Egg. For instance, I think I just have to let the egg flip and then kill it. Alright, I got a turn free chariot. So I'm playing Sculptor of Winter in the deck now, instead of Lotus Cobra. Because um, I'm a poor soul who cannot afford all these rares. It's not true. I do have Cobras. But um, I was losing a lot of games to missing land drops, actually. And all right, let me double check that this is what I want to do. Uh, let's first pass here. Okay, so I don't think they gave me any info though. Yeah, because none of their removal spells are castable without a target. So I think whatever I play here will just get killed. Um, but Werewolf Pack Leader has a high chance of surviving because of Frostbite. Like this one will die to Frostbite, this one will survive it. I feel like that's good, a good enough reason to play it, right? How do we leave this nothing, right? Because there is like 10 burn spells in the deck now. So yeah, I think I just do this. And it's not to believe that you keep a hand without a burn spell or an egg. Huh. But there was no burn there. Mm, so now I have to decide if I want a Sculptor or a Bribridge Tracker. Uh, might depend on if I draw a land. But Bribridge Tracker kind of forces my opponent to... Uh, to do something. I think it's good to just be mana efficient here. But yeah, it seemed like they just didn't have anything, so I could have just had a chariot in play now, which would have been a lot better than whatever I'm doing here. Uh, honestly, a chariot might mean that he could have crushed the weak in their deck. That's not actually impossible. Oh, that's a lot of iteration. Feel the Ruin is actually not really a combo with iteration. It's kind of funny. Because... Now they really need to have specifically an island, for instance, or a mountain, depending on which sort of interaction they want to play. Oh, and just hit a second field. Wait, so if they're playing that, we're just gonna get to attack for seven? Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. 
Okay, let's draw land. Nice. So we just chariot. Yeah, chariot every day. So if they have a dragon here, yeah, obviously we're gonna be afraid of dragon plus um, epiphany coming down. Attack. We don't quite. If you draw land with Ren Seven, we don't quite have enough. Mm. I'm just trying to figure out what the best line is here. I could play Sculptor, Werewolf, Animate. I don't think I mind too much if they have Dragon Fire or Burning Hand. They have to spend their treasure. They won't be uh, able to... I really want them to spend the treasure. Because otherwise they're going to have enough mana to... Yeah, otherwise they're going to be able to have enough mana to like attack, play a Vatican Consideration and Time Walk. And that surely kills me, right? So I really want them to spend the treasure. I can't force them to do so though. They can just go to one life if they want to. Yeah, there's no way I can make that happen. So if I draw a land, I would be able to Brennan 7. Um... Which would prevent that line, where you can just take it. So I have to think about what's best against the sweeper. The sweeper kills Skullspan Dragon too, so I'm not too worried about that. I think I'm gonna go with the Sculptor, because playing Ren and Seven next turn can be very important. And this is better against Crush the Weak, which they might have. I think I still copy a cat, because I don't have the time to crack the clues anyway. Okay, so that all worked. And they got it, yeah, okay. So I'm dead. It does kill me, right? I got a 12 and then they get, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm super dead if they have it. I mean, she probably does. <gasps> oh, but this was time always lethal too. I mean, I died for like literally any spell, so. Or another gold spin. <clears throat> That's very interesting. Maybe I, I um, outplayed myself there with, on turn two with playing Pack Theater over Sculptor. Because like, he didn't actually have any removal, it seemed. I want this one in again. In the play. Do I want to change anything else on the play? No, I think I just want the three triangle traps. I'm kind of unfortunate that I couldn't um, make it lethal. You pay Skulls because it's not a real threat, so it doesn't matter if it gets shot. Yeah, it makes sense a little bit in that the Skulls gets worse as the game goes on, so might as well. Um, but it definitely matters that it gets shot. By a lot, right? Because. Like, basically, untapping with a creature, even though, like, whether that's a threat or something that makes mana, um, matters a lot. So, if I can up the chance that it gets to untap with the creature, that might be worth it. But also, the thing I'm playing around is Frostbite, which just got to be enabled next turn to be a one mana kill something anyway. So, my opponent would be able to go, like, Express Obliteration and Frostbite still. 
And so I don't actually get that much advantage from them not being able to play on turn two exactly. Because it is just a one mana spell anyway. That is going to be enabled to kill my two drop. So, yeah. I think that was wrong. Anyway, I'm going to play the pack leader now. Little smoldering egg. Uh, uh, we need to make a stop here. Okay, hold on. I think I'm playing Ranger class, so I can play Chariot next turn. So Ranger class and Mammoth. So we're just attacking here. Okay, maybe I clicked too quickly through that. <laughs> the whole point of setting these stops was to make it look like I have um, a snake skin mill. Oh, wow. Um... We definitely attack first, just to can't block the, the pack leader. I don't get to draw a card though, but that's okay. Okay, I think this is worth it, right? Spending my entire turn to just kill this Moldering Egg. I feel like that has to be worth it. So it doesn't even have a spell to cast. That's kind of wild. Oh, uh, no. This might be crossed a week, actually. But that's fine, right? I can just play Bright Witch Tracker. And crew and copy and draw a card. And, yeah, copy the clue. Or I'll play Ren 6 if I draw a card. Alright, that was very uh, anticlimactic. Yeah, I think I should have played Sculptor um, in game 2 there, on turn 2. Because there is value in untapping with something, but since it's a one mana spell, it doesn't actually matter. And the Sculptor gets a lot less valuable as the turn goes on. And the upside of Sculptor is higher too. Because being able to play chain 3 chariot is obviously nuts. Okay, well, good to know.